everybody. This is a Lamley unboxing slash preview. I love doing these unboxings because we're talking Auto World. It is one of my favorite brands in 164. And this is Premium 2018 Release 3. You can see that on both boxes. If you know anything about Auto World that comes from round two, you know that they do two releases or two mixes for each release. There's an A mix and a B mix. Same castings inside, just different colors. This one marks some really cool new models. We will get to them in a second. Round two, who owns Auto World, sent these boxes to me to preview for you. They are just starting to hit hobby dealers, and uh, I think they'll be at Walmart very, very soon as well. So you want to keep your eye open. And like I said, there are two new castings in this particular release. I love when Auto World does new castings. It has been a while, and in order to prepare you for said castings, I need to show you this. This is the 1969 Chevy Kingswood Estate. This particular one is in a cool metallic blue. There's been several colors released. I featured this before on the blog, or the various castings on the blog, and here on the YouTube channel. If you remember, one of my all-time favorite releases from, I think this was last year, was the Lead Sled, this racing version of the Kingswood Estate. I ended up getting the Ultra Red, which is a chase, and the Ultra Raw, which is the super, super chase, only 10 made. And if you remember, when I opened this baby, I dropped it. And made a nice clinkety clank on the way down. That is the first wagon that uh, Auto World did. There's also this one. This is the Ford Country Squire. I, got, I grabbed two colors of this one. There's been several colors of the Country Squire. This one in that metallic tan, tan and then this one in this really cool kind of aqua colored green. Another wood paneled classic wagon. Really beautifully done. Those are the two wagons that Auto World has released so far. And the way they do them, these classic American wagons, it seems like they need to do some more. And they have, and that is in here, and that is what we are going to get to among all the other new models in this particular release. Auto World ca caused quite a buzz last week with the uh, announcement of a. Chevy Silverado um, coming in various forms. Go to uh, their Instagram page if you want to see it. Well, let's start here. This is the Chevy Impala hardtop, and this is one of those brand new tools. When it says new tool, that means new casting. Looks like they're starting to put some interesting facts on the side. We can get to some of those. True 164, I've mentioned they do these totally to scale, just like Tomica Limited Vintage, so they make great companion cars. Um, with Tomic Limited Vintage, kind of the American version of TLV. Here is the back of the card showing the models in the mix. You can see that very cool car up top. We'll get to that. Talking about the Ultra Red Chase models right there. And there you go. Should we find the other one? We should, if I can. This is what happens when you, uh, you just kind of go for it. It's right here. So these tend to get mixed up, but we'll, uh, we'll make this work. There it is, the other color of the 1962 Chevy Impala hardtop. This one in kind of a beautiful kind of deep blue. So they have tooled this one. If you can look at it, you can see there's kind of the separate piece there. They have, they have tooled this one, I think, to also be a convertible, and that will debut in a... Um, a special case, I think, um, like a display case. All right, let's get to the next one. They separate this with tissue paper. All right, 1966 old, Oldsmobile 442. This one in a very deep metal flake blue. Let's see if we can find its companion. I am making a mess, but hey, this is how you do it, right? There we go. In black. These are limited to 3,000. So the new casting, 4,400, the existing casting, 3,000. So it'll be interesting to see how those are distributed um, at stores. Obviously, there will be more of those. So two colors of the Oldsmobile 442. All right, what do we have next? Ah, look at that. This is the 1967 Ford Mustang GT. Look at the artwork here and look at those hubcaps and then look at the wheels on this. That is gorgeous. This is in jet black. 
with the beautiful classic stock hubcap. Sorry for the glare there. How pretty is that? We haven't seen this model for a while, but remember, they go to all detail they can, and so that means sometimes the wheels might be different, and if you look at the version B right there of the 67 Ford Mustang, you can see that it's got the uh, five-spoke wheels instead. So they go all out on these models. I don't think you can be a 164 collector and not appreciate what Auto World is doing. They, this brand also does, um, or this company also does Johnny Lightning. But how cool are those? All right, let's get the tissue paper out of here. We've seen some muscle. How about this 1964 Pontiac Grand Prix in red with a white vinyl top? And I think that's what we saw here. I love this color. Beautiful blue, with also with a white vinyl top. I think the wheels are the same on these. Yep. Really beautifully done. Almost to the big debut. Also happy to see this monster. 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. In kind of an aqua metallic color. With a vinyl black top. Let's see what its part looks like. These boxes are going all over the place. Red with a vinyl top and white wall wheels. I think both of them have the white walls. Yep. I've got a few of these in the drawer down below. That is the Cadillac Eldorado. Oh, I can't wait to get these out. All right. You see there is one model left in each box. Let's get the box out of here. Take a look at these. This is now I am probably showing my bias. Some of you Mustang fans may think the Mustang is the gem here, and it probably is. Some of you might like the uh, the new Impala hardtop. I can't blame you there, but these are the two that I am most excited about. This is the 1974 Buick Estate wagon, brand new tool from Auto World, and another monster American wagon. How nice is that in this kind of olive green with a dark green pinstripe and then the 1974 wagon once again in a burgundy color with a bright red pin pinstripe look at those wheels how cool are those artwork is also cool this one is 4400 so there will be more of these, which is nice for those that want the new, uh, the new casting. There are three variations to this casting, allowing us to span the years of 1974 to 1976. We are clearly going to see more versions of this one. I love that they do it. They can kind of keep the overall silhouette of the model, but they can add the details, whether it's an extra headlight or different taillights. So they have tooled those up. All right. There you go, 1974 Buick Estate Wagon coming in premium release. Three beautiful counterpart to the Country Squire and the Kingswood Estate. Three beautiful wagons. Tell me what you think. Look for these at Hobby Dealers Like Surplus Goodies very, very soon or at your local Walmart. They are coming. And if you see one in that kind of cool candy red with red tires, you've got yourself a chase. Or even better, how about a raw? Let me know if you do find one. Thanks, everybody. Bye.